Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of acid anhydrides with hydride and carbon nucleophiles. Um, generally, the, the key principle here is that acid anhydride reactivity is, is not a whole lot different than acid chlorides, though acid anhydrides are a little bit less reactive. And, and in, in the first video, in the early in the early on in this video sequence, I put acid anhydrides as a little bit less reactive than aldehydes and ketones. But are in fact some um, textbook authors who will put acid anhydrides as a little bit more reactive than aldehydes and ketones. And I kind of hinted at that as well. Uh, certainly there are uh, textbook authors who will share that, you know, so as aldehyde, or the acid anhydrides can be converted to aldehydes and ketones. We're going to talk about all of those different things. Uh, let's start off with uh, hydride reducing agent, uh, lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride is the uh, superpower of reducing agents. It reduces just about all carbonyl compounds to the corresponding alcohol. Uh, and so lithium aluminum hydride actually reduces both carbonyl groups in an anhydride to the corresponding alcohol, uh, which means that if we had uh, a non-symmetric anhydride, we would get both possible alcohols out of this reaction. Right? Now, it turns out that there are some folks who use this, uh, who will suggest that because anhydrides are pretty reactive and they might actually be more reactive than uh, may or may not be more reactive than aldehydes. It might be possible to reduce ooh, uh, anhydrides to aldehydes using lithium trioxy aluminum hydrides. Uh, but in this interesting case, one part of the anhydride has to be the leaving group. And carboxylic acids are, and carboxylate anions are less reactive than aldehydes and, and anhydrides. So in this process, this you know, carboxylate group is gonna come off as a leaving group and it's not gonna be reduced. All right, so it's, its fate in this reaction is H, L, R, H, to react is to come off as a leaving group So we get nucleophilic attack. That was that was miserable. A moment here. Here we go. We get nucleophilic attack, and we get loss of leaving group. And the leaving group that we have here, before anything else happens, is not a carboxylic acid, but the acid, uh, the carboxylate anion, which is the least reactive of all things. Only lithium aluminum hydride, so far as I know, will react with least lithium or will react with carboxylate anions. Now it's worth noting then that if we have a a case where we have a non-symmetric aldehyde, we end up with the sort of unhelpful case of which you know, which side is the leaving group, because either one could be the leaving group and either one could become the aldehyde. So so this is sort of not productive, and it's probably because of this not productiveness with non-symmetric anhydrides. And the, the, generally it's easy to convert 
carboxylic acids and things into acid chlorides, uh, this reaction just tends to not be done. It can be done, but there are very few, I've not found lots of examples of it in the literature. Most people will use acid chlorides. Acid chlorides are, are favored for this kind of reaction because the chlorine has to be the leaving group. Now let's go grab my uh, original anhydride. If instead of using lithium aluminum hydride, we use uh, a Grignard reagent, the Grignard reagent is going to react with one side of the anhydride to make a tertiary alcohol. The intermediate ketone also reacting with Grignard reagents. And the, the out other side is going to be a carboxylic acid. Remember, one side of this thing is a leaving group that eventually becomes the, the carboxylic acid after aqueous workup. Uh, the Grignard reaction here is, again, not a particularly productive reaction. If we do the, you know, if we do the non-symmetric version, we have now two different carbonyl groups. Which one which one group the reacts and which one you know, is the leaving group is a question that's really hard to answer. Yeah. Similarly, it's worth noting that uh, some people report that that we have uh, that we get reactions with lithium dialkyl cuprates or the, the Gilman reagents to form ketones instead of uh, alcohols though you still get oops still get one side of the anhydride coming off as a carboxylic acid you know after neutralization and it's this reaction still suffers from the problem of which you know, in in a non-symmetric case which group reacts and which group is the leaving group so like the case with the the hydride reducing agents uh green you know organometallic reagents reactions are often not done on anhydrides because they're not you know there's there's two groups that could react and then you're doing an unsymmetric version it's hard to control which one you're going to do uh, I've already in other videos covered the reactivity of carboxylic acids, which are the next ones down. Uh, so I'm going to skip over those and go right on to esters in the next video. Thank you for watching.